Hello students, welcome to the second video on this bonus project on creating an Arc de Triomphe uh, miniature model. Okay, so what I'm going to do is in this video I'm going to teach you one technique that you can use over and over to create the architectural details that appear around and on the faces of the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, so let's start with the front. And I want to kind of look at it at an angle so I can see this corner. This is the line, this is a guideline that I'm going to trace all the way around the structure. So let's click on the pencil tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this corner here and I'm going to go across to the other side. Now as long as this line is red, you are drawing it completely horizontal to the ground. So that's what we want. So to go to the other end and click to end that line. All right, let's use the orbit tool and spin around. Again, let's have a look at this corner so I can see where the line meets that corner. We're going to click on this endpoint right where the other line ended, and we're going to draw across. Now, as long as this line is green, it is going to stay on the green axis. It's going to be parallel to the ground. And then click to end that line. All right, let's spin around and do the same thing. Click on the pencil tool. And this one, we want to draw along the red axis, the red line. And then if we click to end that line, if we just have a peek inside this corner, you should see that those two lines meet up. Okay, let's continue on this side. Okay, we'll click on the pencil tool. We'll start our line and stay on the red axis, the red line. And click and hold, uh, sorry, not hold, click to end that line. Let's spin around so we can see the corner. Let's click on this corner, click, and we're going to stay along the green axis, the green axis, and end the point over there, end the line, sorry. And then let's spin around and let's draw the last bit. From this corner here, click, drag across, stay on the red axis, and then end the point there. All right, end the line. All right, so it should match up. We want to make sure that these lines always match up in the corners. As we scroll around, we see that they are matching. They all match in the corners. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, we're going to look at it from a funny angle here. Kind of like we're looking at the front face, but at an extreme angle. So I want to use my zoom tool, my magnifying glass, and I want to zoom in right at this corner here. So I'm going to start scrolling my mouse and moving in past the arch so I can see this corner. Then what I want to do is I want to orbit so that I'm kind of looking at it right from the side. So let's see if I can get a better position and then use the orbit. And then you see I'm kind of in the archway now looking at this face, at the front face. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a rectangle. Sorry, from this corner here. So I want to be right on this endpoint. I want to click once and I want to start dragging a rectangle outwards. I want to type in three centimeters, three cm, comma, space, three cm and then hit enter. Three centimeters by three centimeters and click enter. So you see it's this tiny, tiny square that I've created sticking out of the front of the building. So I'm going to zoom in even further and let's see if I can get a better angle. There we go. That's the angle where it's not very confusing. I, mean, I can see just only in two dimensions. All right, let's click on the tape measure. Let's click on the bottom right hand corner of this newly created square. Click once, don't hold the mouse, and start dragging downwards. Type in 1 cm, 1 centimeter, and hit enter. So you see I'll get a guideline, guide point, right there. Okay? I'm going to use that guide point to connect the lower left-hand corner of the square to the structure, to that guide point. And that should fill that in solid. Then what I want to do is I want to erase that connecting line. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to orbit around. So you see how that little trapezoid is sticking out of the front of the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, 
So I'm going to zoom out even further. And then what I want to do is I want to position my camera so that I can see the inside of that trapezoid around the corner here. Okay, see how I'm kind of facing the corner, how the corner is in the middle of my screen. All right. So let's use a new tool here. It's called the Follow Me tool. See this one right here? The Follow Me tool. So we're going to click on the Follow Me tool. And it might take you a few attempts to get this correct. You're going to try to click on this little trapezoid. You see how it's highlighted there? I'm going to click once. Don't hold the mouse. And I'm going to pull that trapezoid along the red axis. Now when I get to the corner, it should allow me to go around the corner eventually. So I'm going to try that again. As I get to the corner, just try to manipulate your mouse so that you're continuing along the red line. Now I don't want you to go all the way to the corner. I want you to stop before you get to the corner. This is very important. So I'm going to stop here. In order to end this command, I click once. And then there I go. So what I've done is, I've created and filled in that trapezoid so that it creates this little ledge around the corner. Okay, this is called molding. All right, so what I want to do is I want to use my orbit tool and I want to have a look at this corner now. So I've got this corner line, this vertical line in the center of my screen. So let's see if I can continue that shape around this corner. So let's click on the follow me tool again. Let's try to click on that trapezoid. Let's go right to the edge and let's see if it will follow around the corner. And it will. And keep going right until you get to the edge and it'll say endpoint. When you've got it on endpoint, click to end that command. Now, like I said, it might take you a few tries. It might take you a little bit of manipulation of the mouse and the angle. It took me a while to learn that technique as well. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get rid of these connecting lines here. So let's zoom in right to the point where those two kind of follow me tools commands met. So let's use the eraser and let's carefully erase these lines. Be careful that you're not erasing anything important. Now let's have a look underneath and let's get rid of that little line. Okay. So if you were successful in doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to match that on the other side. So let's position our camera and let's try to get right into this part where the front archway starts on the right hand pillar. So I'm going to zoom in here right to this corner, zoom in, and then hopefully once I'm in the arch, I can orbit so that I can have a look at it straight on. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Let's uh, click on the rectangle tool. Let's click right here where the uh, two lines meet. Click once, start pulling uh, a rectangle outwards. Type in 3cm, comma, space, 3cm. A 3 centimeter by 3 centimeter square. And hit enter. Okay, remember, it's a tiny square. So let's zoom in. Zoom in. All right, so let's use the tape measure tool. Click once on this corner, start dragging the tape measure down and type in one CM and then hit enter. All right, so it didn't go very far. Let's see. Maybe I am. All right, so let's click on the pencil tool and connect the corner of the square to that guide point. Then I want to erase that connecting line there. Okay, so get to have some fun with the follow me tool. So let's orbit around and let's zoom out. Let's pan and orbit. It's very important that you know these navigation tools. Okay, so again, we want to be looking at this corner where that line is vertically kind of in the center of your screen. Let's click on the follow me tool. Carefully click in that little trapezoid. Don't hold the mouse. Start dragging along the red line. Try to get it around the corner. And there we go. And then 
make sure you don't go all the way to the corner and then click to end that command all right I'm gonna orbit around and I'm gonna click on the follow me tool again click on the trapezoid and see if I can get it to go around the corner uh, okay let's try this again And again, sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, I got it to go. So I'm going to go all the way to end point and then click to end it. Okay, and like I said, it takes a little bit of finesse with your mouse and just your positioning. So don't get frustrated. You saw that it took me a couple tries to get that one as well. Okay, let's zoom into this connection here, this joint. And let's erase these connecting lines here so that there's no clues. don't do that let's see let's click carefully on those lines make sure you look underneath there's one more line underneath okay so let's zoom out and let's have a look at what we've done now when you zoom out that detail isn't very um, noticeable but it does add that architectural detail so if I wanted that molding to stand out a little bit more I would have used a larger square remember we only started with a three centimeter by three centimeter square but if you need it to be thicker you can start with a four centimeter five centimeter you can experiment it doesn't have to be a square okay so I've kind of taken you through the techniques that you need to kind of build your Arc de Triomphe model. So this is probably a good time to save. I probably should have saved a long time before this. Okay, so make sure that you're looking at your Google images. So what we just did was this crown molding, this molding right here. Now you know how to create these rectangles. That's easy. It looks like there's a huge molding coming up over here. And it looks like there's another one right at the top of the structure. So keep building, keep looking at your pictures. Okay, these 3D models are really helpful to kind of get a 3D sense of where the uh, all the grooves are and things. Okay, so keep working on it. I'm expecting uh, some pretty amazing things. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.